Summerland History by Jake. In the early days, Summerland was known as Nicola Prairie. It was named for Grand Chief Nicola, who was a leader of the Okanagan people. Nicola Prairie meant land of Nicola, Aboriginal. He lived on for hunting, fishing, and fishing too. The Brigade Trail was established in 1811. The fur traders used it from 1811 to 1847. Fur traders from the Hudson Bay Company traveled the trail to take posts to various fur trading posts. In the 1850s, miners looking for gold traveled the Brigade Trail. Later, cattlemen followed the trail as they moved their cattle to market. The first Aboriginal family to reside the area was the Peer family of Pentic and Indian men. Johnny Antoine they worked for George Barkley, a local cattleman rancher. Barkley had come from England and he started a big cattle ranch. In 1892, Tom Shaughnessy, president of the Canadian Pacific Railway, bought a 3,500 acre Barkley ranch and other surrounding lands. He convinced some of the rich friends to buy property. to encourage others to come settle here. James Rich, who arrived in 1903 from Manitoba, he bought land in Garnet Valley and subdiv subdivided it into smaller five and ten acre plots. He also traded the land with the Prairie Valley. This land became the new Summerland town site. In 1906, Summerland became a district municipality. In the beginning of most of building happened along the lake shore. The irrigation system was developed. Flumes carried water to orchards. In time, packing houses were built where people sorted and packed fruit to be shipped to market. Strewn reels brought people and goods to the area. As fruit growing became more widespread, the Dominion Experimental Farm was set up. Later, the Kettle Valley Railway was built through Summerland. It was a huge job to build a bridge over Trout. By this time, the town had site had moved from Lower Town to its present location. More stores were built, churches and schools were added. 